Today we're going to be looking at the 2020 U.S. Open Silver question, cereal. So in this question, Farmer John's cows are going to be eating cereal, and not just cereal, full boxes of cereal. So what's going to happen is we're going to have M different types of cereal, and N cows are going to have two different types of cereal. So they're going to have a favorite type of cereal and a second favorite type of cereal. So what's going to happen is every cow is going to line up, and then they're going to go through a couple of choices. They're going to see if their box of their favorite cereal is still there, they're just going to take it. If their second favorite cereal is there, but their first is not, they'll just take the second favorite. Otherwise, they'll just moo and leave. So what we want to know is, we want to know the number of cows are going to be happy and have their cereal. But not only that, we want to know what happens, how many cows would take a box of cereal, how many cows would have cereal, if Farmer John removes the first I cows from line. So what this means is we're going to see, okay, if we remove the first cow, how many cows are going to be happy? If we remove the second, how many? The third, how many? And so on and so forth. So let's look at the algorithm for this question. So there are two main things we need to know in order to solve this question. So if I were to simulate this question, at first glance, the way we would solve it is it would seem like I would go, okay, I'm going to solve the first cows. I'm going to get rid of the first cow. I'm going to solve and simulate this. I'm going to get rid of the second cow. I'm going to simulate third and fourth until I reach the last cow. And so the reason this isn't going to work is because it's going to take too much time. So this would be running n simulations, which definitely isn't going to pass. So what we're actually going to do instead is we're going to do something called an offline query. So even though the question asks for the cows to be portrayed in a certain order, we're not going to follow that order. What we're actually going to do is, instead of taking our cows and removing them one by one, what we're going to do is we're going to build them up. So I'm going to start with the last cow. I'm going to calculate the answer here. I'm going to put it in a list. Then I'm going to add the second cow, put that answer in a list, add the third one, put that answer in the list, and so on and so forth until I build up to the last cow. So the benefit of this is instead of doing n different simulations, I'm only going to have to do one. So that's going to be the first main part of this question. The second main part is the reason why at first glance we wouldn't be able to do offline query is because we have a priority. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to alter our algorithm so that we are able to account for that. Let's assume the last cow wants serial 6 and serial 1. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to position 6 and then we're going to say, okay, no one's here, you can have it. And then let's say cow 5 wants serial 1 and then serial 2. So after knowing that one cow is happy here, we're going to put in this cow. We're going to check to see if there's any cows at position 1. There are not. So I'm going to put the next cow here. And then let's say my next cow wants to go to position 6 and then position 3. So since we have priority going from the top down, what we're actually going to do is we're going to have to kick out a cow. So what this means is if I were simulating normally, then we would assume this cow right here would get the position of 6 and then this cow down here would have to move to another position. So what we can actually do so let's assume this cow here is going to be this shade of blue. What we're actually going to do is we're going to say, okay, since I know this cow has a greater priority than this one, I'm just going to replace this with this cow. So now this cow here has this location. So what about this cow? What's going to happen is I'm actually going to take this cow, and since 6 was its first choice cereal, it's just going to go to its second choice. So what we're going to do is it's, we're going to check the second choice cereal. And every time we check something, we need to make a, another check. We're going to check to see if the cow currently occupying this position has a priority greater than mine, then I cannot kick them out. So in this case, since let's call this cow 2, this is cow 1 and cow 3. Since cow 2 has a higher priority than cow 3, Cow 3 can't kick cow 2 out, so in this case we're only going to have two happy cows.
we're going to have cow 1 being in this location here and cow 2 being in this location here. But let's say, what if, what if we had to switch the orders? Well, in that case, what would happen is since cow 1 was able to kick out the new cow 2 in this position, cow 2 is just going to check its second number. So if its second serial is already occupied, we're going to do our second check. And if it's already been occupied by a cow that has a smaller priority or a lower priority, like in this example, it does have a lower priority, we're just going to keep kicking it out. So in this case, let's assume this cow here, cow 2, is going to be this green. So in this case, it's just going to kick this out. And then we would do the same thing. So now cow 3, the new cow 3, is going to have to go to its second serial and go here. So this is the case where the cow here has a higher priority and able, is able to kick out this cow. If it wasn't able to kick the cow out, what would happen is, just like in our earlier before we switched the cows, what would happen is this cow would just not be happy. So in this case, the cow 2 would just stay at its current location. Cow 1 would be here having kicked out cow 3. And then cow 3 is just not going to have a position because both its first and second serials are occupied. So in this way, we can actually create our program. So let's look at the code. So let's look at the code for this question. I set this up so we have for f and s as first and second. So whenever I use dot f and dot s, it just means dot first and dot second. And then we're going to have a max value here. Then I'm going to have my two variables and over here I'm just setting it up. So let's get started. So for this question, there are two main data structures I'm going to use. I'm going to be using OCC, which is just occupied. This is just going to tell me which cows are occupying what serial. So this is going to be size m. And then I'm just going to have the cows with a pair. Dot first is going to be the favorite serial, and then dot second is going to be the second favorite. So that's going to be size n. What I'm going to do is I'm going to read in my input, and then I'm going to create my vector. So this is going to be my answer vector. It's going to store the answers. So when I build my program up, it's going to store the answers to every value. So then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to loop through every cow. So I is going to represent the cow that I'm currently on. So I'm going to have two values, position and j. So position is going to be, I'm going, what I'm going to do here is since I need to basically keep kicking cows out until either a, every cow has found a spot, or B, I finally found a time where I have a cow and it's not high leveled enough or it does not have high enough of a priority to kick anyone else out. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep while looping until I get to one of those two states. It's going to be the current serial that my cow is fighting over or the two cows are fighting over. And then I'm going to have J, which is going to be the current cow that's being kicked out. So position is going to be the position of the cow that I'm switching out. And then J is going to be the current cow that is getting moved. So I'm going to have a while loop. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to set it to while true. And then I'm going to add a breaking condition. So the first thing I'm going to check is if the current location is zero, which basically means no other cow is occupying this position, I'm just going to take my current cow, which is J, and I'm going to place it in this position, add one value to answer which basically means I'm going to add one cow that is getting a position, and then I'm going to break. The other one is basically saying, so since OCC, or occupation, is going to store the index of the cow that is currently occupying or currently picking the serial pause, what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to check whether or not the priority of that cow is greater than or less than my current cow. So if the index of that cow is less than j or my current cow that basically just means the cow currently eating cereal is going to have higher priority and thus i can't kick them out so i'm going to have two main ways to stop i'm going to either assign a new position or i'm going to kick a cow out and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to make a transition so i'm just going to say else what i'm going to do is i'm going to create the next value so over here i'm basically kicking out the cow because since this didn't get taken, what I'm going to assume is that I can kick out the current cow at this position. 
I'm going to assign OCC pause to J. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to check to see if this cow is currently at its second favorite cereal, which means the cow that I'm kicking out no longer has any other cereal to go to. I'm just going to assume that it doesn't have anything else. So I'm just going to assume that that's the end of the cycle, so I'm going to break. So then what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to assign J to next, and then I'm going to update my position. So I'm going to have this while loop. I'm going to either check to see if I can put a new cow in a position, check to see if I cannot kick a cow out. Otherwise, I'm going to go into the loop. I'm going to check to see if I'm currently on my second serial, which means that there's nowhere else for this cow to go, and I'm just going to break. And then I'm going to update and assign the new position. And then at the very end, I'm just going to assume that I updated the current vector or the current list with the cow that I need. So I'm just going to assign answer vector i to a and s. And then note that i is backwards because we do need to print this at the end backwards. And then at the very end, I'm just going to print out my answer. And that's the end of our program.